Armand is having a little lie down. You could actually try this bit at home. It's quite nice. Or what you can't try at home is hooking Zand up to an electrocardiogram, which is what I've done. It's basically a heart monitor. And each one of these spikes on the display is a separate beat of the heart. And it doesn't matter what you're doing. Even if you're just lazing around like Zand, your heart never stops beating. It beats even when you're asleep. As Zand seems to be illustrating perfectly, you can see the spikes and his pulse is around 70. OK, Zon, demonstration over. What? What? What demonstration? I've been awake the whole time. Now, your heart was beating when you were a six-week-old embryo inside your mum, just the size of a raisin. Your heart is made up of millions of tiny cells, and each one of those cells beats on its own. And here's one of them. This is a single heart cell. It just won't stop beating, even without its mates. Absolutely brilliant, isn't it, Zon? Zon? Zand! What? It's not nap time. Now, if you ask more of your body, say when you exercise... Exercise? Yes, Zand, exercise. Your heart will step up and help you out. Right, give me some nice big star jumps, please, Zand. When you exercise, your muscles need lots more blood and oxygen. To provide this, the heart speeds up. As you can see, Zand's heart rate is much higher now than when he was lying down. Even at rest, it beats around 100,000 times a day. So, you've seen how your heart beats at different rates depending on what you're doing. But how does your heart actually work? How does it get all that blood where you need it, when you need it? Well, we're going to show you. Check this out. This is a real heart. It's from a pig, but don't let that put you off. It's very similar to a human heart, and it's a pump with no equal. Blood arrives in the heart all tired and out of oxygen. The heart pumps it straight to the lungs, where it collects new oxygen. Back at the heart, it's given a mega pump, which scoots it all around the body. And there's no chance of it going the wrong way, thanks to the heart's special valve.